Hey, Teddy K here for Best Buy Plugin, and we're going to take a look at Netgear's Nighthawk X8 AC5300 Smart Wi-Fi Router. It's quite a mouthful. And as we lift off the box here, we're going to see the unit itself, which is pretty big. Uh, it's actually bigger than it kind of looks in this video, and pretty hefty too. It's just under 4 pounds, so it's got some weight to it. And in the back are four antennas that are actually not removable, and that means in part also that you can't add or you can't replace them with taller ones for a an amplified range something some users might not actually like uh, otherwise inside there's not a lot that you have the instruction manual which I'll show in a second and then you have just the Ethernet cable there in yellow uh, and then beyond that is the power adapter and just to make sure that there are no other surprises here under the box which there shouldn't be and for the adapter itself there's uh, a pretty nice design here. I like that they made it a little thinner with the teeth facing uh, a certain way too. Uh, this makes it easier to plug it into an outlet uh, on the wall or at the end of a power bar. Uh, something I kind of personally like. And going back to the manual, now the full manual is available for download in PDF form from Netgear's website, but this is the quick start guide available in both English and French of course here in Canada and that'll get you up and running and it'll explain some of the features that are in the router including port aggregation which you need a compatible device to use being a tri-band router the Nighthawk X8 supports three simultaneous Wi-Fi bands one on the 2.4 gigahertz band and two on the 5 gigahertz band it actually splits them it also supports MU MIMO multi-user multi-input multi-output which again also needs compatible devices to use and I'll explain that in a second now behind the, you have the antennas which are you can angle them you have the internet connection you have the two aggregator ports four LAN ports a reset button power button and the connector for the power adapter the top of the router looks pretty muscle bound with these bulges but uh, it's got some pretty good ventilation and that helps you keep it quiet when it's working on the side there is a list of the different ports and when these are lit up with LEDs underneath when they're operating and on the other side we've got the two USB ports a little bit unusual that they're on the side but I found it convenient personally USB 2.0 for printers ideally USB 3.0 for external hard drives that you can stream from or back up to unless you're using Time Machine on a Mac here's just a quick look at some of the lights on the router itself uh, some of the LEDs showing what's operating amber lights on the LAN ports mean 100 megabits or slower speeds while the white mean gigabit speeds and then the antennas also have some blue lights at the top and a hard drive that is connected to the USB 3.0 port. And then there's Netgear Genie, which is the software to manage the router either through a web browser, desktop software, or you can actually use the mobile app too. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the software. It's not bad. It does the job, but it could look a lot better. And this is a quick snapshot of the tri-band quad stream Wi-Fi. Uh, these are theoretical numbers, so you probably won't see these types of speeds in reality, but it gives you an idea of how the networks are split up and why it's so efficient. And then we get to the MU MIMO. So in that case, data is sent to multiple devices simultaneously instead of having them queue up for data like they traditionally do now. Look for that to become a bigger deal later this year. And that's a quick look at the Netgear Nighthawk X8. For Best Buy Plugin, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.